what are you going to do with your life? Young men, young women, middle-aged, you know, what are you going to do? Amen. Woman, you exchange man like you exchange cars. Mm-hmm. Brother, you exchange women like you exchange tires. Amen. When are you going to make a change with self? Self, that's right. You wear your makeup, your artificial hair, <laughs> your long eyelashes, mm-hmm. you get breast implants, men want to wear leather pants. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with you? That's right. You don't see nothing wrong with the way you are. And it's strange because young people, some of them, this is light to them. Right. Not sincere. But the moment you laid up in a hospital, you ready to call your religious mama. That's right. Or your praying grandmama mm-hmm. to come read to you scriptures because you're about to die. Amen. Or you're about to get a hook goes to the respirator. Mm-hmm. Young people, you need to save your life. Yeah. Amen. You parents, look at the atmosphere you raised your children in. Mm-hmm. Didn't you used to allow your daughters to wear pants? Now look at you. That's right. Your daughters is naked like your whore looking mother. That's right. Wife is out half naked. The weak husband don't say nothing because he's spineless. Amen. Wife now could be out naked. Yeah. Just send her daughter out naked. Mm-hmm. And then the moment someone looking at your wife, you want to kill him. That's right. You put yourself in position you ain't fit to say nothing. That's right. Men approach your daughter because you let them come out half naked. Amen. Mother, you put yourself in position you can't say nothing. Say nothing. That's right. For you send your daughters out like live bait. Amen. So drooling old toothless men can look at them and lust. That's right. You put yourself in position that you can't say nothing. That's right. That's right. What are you going to do with yourself? Amen. When are you going to stop your lifestyle of partying? Mm-hmm. Gambling? How long are you going to keep living with that man who just used your body as a mattress? That's right. And been promising to marry you for the last five years. Amen. You already got a baby by him. And most time you can't find him. Right. Are you listening? That's right. So what you do? You are naive and go to another man who promised to marry you. Have a baby for him. Mm-hmm. You can't find him. Amen. So what you do? Go to another man who pull out a roll of money. That's right. And drive a car. Yeah. You take him to the cleanest a few times. <laughs> he proposed to you. Leave you with a baby. You can't find him. Five children, five daddies, one woman. Amen. It come a time that that cycle stop. That's right. Look at you. You're dying. That's right. Jerking, speaking in tongue. Ah, ah, ah. Dying. Dying. Amen. When a person is dying, their appearance change. Yeah. Because of the losing of oxygen. Mm-hmm. Oxygen is the spirit of breath. Mm-hmm. When you're dying spiritually, you're losing the presence of God that's dwelling in your temple. And slowly but surely, he's detaching himself from your house. The wickedness of a woman. And just as when a corpse begin to change, when the breath come out, you're body begin to change when the spirit of God Holy Ghost start to slowly drift out that's right listen at the book in the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 25 and verse 17 yes the wickedness of a woman the wickedness of a woman changeth her face change her face and darkeneth her countenance and dark her countenance like sackcloth like sackcloth that's right sackcloth was used in the old time as an act of humility mm-hmm. many men act like they're humble mm-hmm. to lure you into their wallet that's right 
Some of us are naive and think a man loves because he give you money. That's right. If your love is no further than a dollar, that love is pitiful. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? Amen. I encourage you young people, you see the telecast, you need to be born again. You need to repent of your sins. Repent, repent. repent. Get your life right, woman and man. That's right. What's the matter with you? That's right. Look at the way you live it. You may not like what I'm saying, but you know I'm telling you the truth. Amen. You see the way you live it. Mm -hmm. You're not making no progress. Mm -hmm. You just party. Been hanging out since you was 15. Now you're 25 and you ain't made no change other than you got a job. That's right. That's all. You got a job. You want to show every part of your body. That's right. There was a statistic done. 72% of the women in America of color that's beyond black mm -hmm. were HIV positive Lord. 72 percent were HIV positive 72 percent think of it think of it 72 percent All you need is the right, wrong one. Mm -hmm. A carrier. Mm -hmm. You get burnt with syphilis, gonorrhea, herbies, the clap. That's right. That's right. Huh? Clap hits you. What's the Amen. Might wonder what is that noise they keep hearing? You got the clap. That's right. Or you get the crabs. Amen. You know what the crabs are? They call them crabs because that's exactly what they look like. Mm -hmm. Little parasites. Yeah. You put them up to a magnifying glass. They actually look like crabs with claws. Oh. That's why they be scratching so much. Right. Almost like a monkey. That's right. Scratching. Crabs. Crabs got them. Got them. Everything that shines is not gold. Amen. Amen. So I say, well, he told me he don't have AIDS. I asked him, and he told me he don't. That's all right. Lord help. <laughs> Men say, well, I use a rubber. Big deal. That's right. You can play around with that woman. Just decide not to use one for about a few minutes. That's right. A few minutes, a few seconds. I don't just play. It's all it takes. That's right. We are naive. You young people, you got two choices. Either be another statistic or get ready to walk with God. Amen. I'm glad God has given me an ability to attract young people, especially Amen. young men who want to be soldiers. Amen. I want young men who just want to sing. Yes, I don't want that. That's right. Do more than singing. That's right. Singing is good, but it ain't good enough. Amen. I'm glad for the talent that we have, but you got to get some word of God in you. Oh, yes. I plead with my young brothers and sisters. Turn your life around. Amen. That man you living with, that ain't your husband. Get him off of you. Get him out your house. That woman that's not your wife, get her out. Now, brother, if you got a baby by a woman, 
You're responsible for that child. Amen. Don't think now because you come to Christ, you ain't got to take care of the child. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. That woman is not your responsibility, but that child is. That's right. Take care of it. To deny that child as being yours when you know it's yours. That's right. And it's walking around here, growing up, eating and whatnot. You'll reap what you sow. Yes, you will. Are you listening? That's right. Repent. Be sorrow about your wrong. Amen. Judgment begin at the house of God. That don't mean this building. House of God is what? Body. Do you want to be right? Amen. You don't sound like it. Amen. You still don't sound like it. Amen. We're here in Rocky Mount through the grace of God to help you get right. And God Almighty have given us the right tools. That's right. They get you right. Man ain't gave us nothing. God Almighty gave it to us. That's right. They get you the right stuff. They get it right. Young men, young women, boys, girls, old folk. Mm -hmm. We got the right stuff to get you right. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters.